Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the time of Devara, Mida Ches, attribute 8. Yichvayish Avinu Yisena HaKadosh Baruch suppresses our sins, which is an act of chesed and, ma- and rachem and, and mercy from Hashem. V'ayinu Yichvayish Avinu Yisena, this that HaKadosh Baruch suppresses the sins, she'ein ha'avaynois mizgabrim lefon of kimitzvayis. The sins do not have the same power and the impact before HaKadosh Baruch Hu, like mitzvahs, like the commandments and the good deeds that we do. Rather, HaKadosh Baruch Hu suppresses them. He keeps them pushed down, so to speak, so that the power of an Avera, the intensity of the sin that a person is involved with, never enters and ascends on high. Even though that HaKadosh Baruch Hu watches over a person, his good deeds, his bad deeds, nevertheless, the good, he never suppresses at all. That is up in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the mitzvahs that he does, the chesed that he does, the controlling his yetzahar and his bad midas that he does, all that HaKadosh Baruch Hu sees in his mind's eye constantly. As we know, it goes up, up, up to the highest of heights. And therefore, it combines with another mitzvah and another mitzvah. You have such strong, powerful mitzvahs connecting to each other. Eventually, it builds a beautiful binyan, a beautiful building filled with the kedusha and the radiance of mitzvahs. And it is a honorable garment of clothing that a person is wearing, meaning it will dress your neshama either in this world or the world to come. When a person does a mitzvah, so they are preparing for themselves the most beautiful, elegant clothing that they could possibly imagine, spiritual clothing that will enclose their neshama. And therefore, in this world, there'll be radiance. In this world, there'll be honor. In this world, there'll be a connection that they have to HaKadosh Baruch and certainly all the more so in the world to come, all those mitzvahs are going to come into play and he's going to receive a gigantic reward. However, sins did not have such a quality. Rather, HaKadosh Baruch suppresses them so they should not have the same kind of success they will not enter into the inner realms of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So the Tamba Devar is saying something that is really incredible and fascinating, and that is that although in many of the Maimari Chazal, the words of our sages and many other Svarim as well, it seems to be that a Jew, when he does a mitzvah, so it shakes up the heavens in a positive way, and when he does an Aver, when he does a sin, it shakes up the heavens in a negative way. If I do good, so I am elevated, the whole world can be elevated together with me. If I do bad, I sin, so I will go down and the whole world can come down with me. Like the famous mashal of the, that the Midrash speaks out where the person is sitting on a ship and he's drilling a hole under his seat and the people begin screaming, what are you doing? You're drilling a hole. And he says, it's only under my seat. What's the problem? And the problem is that we are all connected to each other. So if one Yid, one Jew over here is doing something wrong, it's going to have a negative effect on the other Jews. But the Torah Devar is saying, Afal Pike, nevertheless, you should know that the power of the sin is much less than the power of a mitzvah. And even if it will go into Shemaim, and even if it will cause its spiritual damage and the like, it's nothing compared to the power and the koyach and the kedusha and the radiance of a mitzvah of what that is going to accomplish and when that's going to give to a person, to their family, and to uh, to Gans Klaus on the entire world. So therefore, a person just keeps focused on this. It's all about the mitzvahs. We are going to do a veris. We are going to stumble. We are going to make mistakes. But HaKadosh Baruch and his chesed and his rachamim, he's koivesh, he suppresses, he pushes down, he subdues the power of the Avera, and it will not at all have the same impact and intensity or the effect of the beauty of a mitzvah that has on our lives and this world.
Have a wonderful day.